Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to HWM Aston Martin. Today, we're going to be introducing you to a very special limited run Vantage Roadster called the A3 Roadster. Now, before we look at some of the details on the car, I want to show you what has inspired this really interesting project. Here we have the Aston Martin A3. The reason it's called the A3 is because it is the third ever chassis number that Aston Martin made. So it is the oldest operating Aston Martin in existence. Uh, and it's a car with a wonderful history, as you can imagine. So it is a vehicle that is, is 100 years old this year. It's a 1921 car. And we have built the Vantage Roadster to commemorate this milestone for A3. So being chassis number three, it then gained the name A3, um, which we have continued to use in recent times. If you look at the car, it, it's a beautiful, pure, lightweight car, naturally open top. It's a car that was used not only for road, but also for track. So this car was used by Lionel Martin himself. So it's got this wonderful history. And amazingly, from its 1.5 litre engine, it's a four cylinder engine, it made just 11 brake horsepower. But that 11 brake horsepower allow, allowed it to average 84 and a half miles an hour in 1923 at Brooklyn's race circuit during a race, which I think is, is remarkable. And it's a lovely bit of history that is local to us here at HWM. So we've really enjoyed spending some time with A3, just drinking in the beautiful details. And what that's allowed us to do is come up with some of the really interesting characteristics and features of the car that we could reflect in a modern vehicle. It's been a really fun project, but what we wanted to create was a modern Vantage Roadster that looks beautiful, looks stylish, but also just has that link to Aston Martin's wonderful heritage. So let's take a closer look at some of the details of the A3 Roadster. Now, we wanted to ensure that the car had a sporty theme throughout and what hits you straight away is this beautiful mesh grille here that is designed to echo the front of the A3 1921 car. Uh, what I particularly like is this Aston Martin Heritage badge at the front. Um, but this is a really lovely handcrafted um, piece of sculpture on the front car and it really defines the front of it along with mesh air vents on the bonnet which again just give the car some attitude. Now as we look down the side we selected all black lightweight alloys again sporty look um, this is not available as a standard finish on a wheel uh, and it just gives the car a really dark, menacing feel. Um, but what really pops behind those wheels are the bronze calipers. And again, a nice link back to, to the A3. It's a rare option, it's a rare, rare uh, feature having bronze calipers on an Aston. Further down, something we're really proud of is this brushed stainless steel side gill with this leather strap that really echoes the bonnet of, of A3. Um, it's just such a lovely handcrafted feature that stands out and, and really sort of gives the car a super sporty feel um, from side on. And you'll notice in script just underneath that, uh, that leather strap, there's the number three. Um, and just further down, you've got Aston Martin Q badges just to denote that this is a special version of the Vantage. So at the rear of the Roadster, we've given it a really clean look. So first of all, it's got smoked lamps. We've decided to debadge it as well, and there's just something about the, the clean finish and the symmetry it gives without the Aston Martin script on the boot. Um, interestingly, Roadster is just such a great all-round sports car, and one of the benefits of the updated model is that it's got a really good boot size. So it's a car that's ideal for a road trip into Europe. So I wanted to show you a profile of the car with the roof up. It's a fantastic roof. It's got eight layers that's great for sound insulation. It's lighter than a typical hardtop. And the other feature is it folds and stows really quickly. So it's got the fastest roof system in class. And when it stores, it's super neat because it doesn't eat into any of the boot space. 
Now, looking into the cabin, this is where we've really got some extra interesting details that make this car super special. So first of all, particularly proud of these bronze dials in the center of the cabin that really catch your eye as you get in. The trimming all the way through the cabin is chestnut tan. So we've got beautiful chestnut tan door handles, center pockets are lined in chestnut tan, as are the knee pads. There's just this lovely flow of the color that breaks up the black leather. We've then chosen fluted seats, which the Q team have been able to create for us that again, just gives a bit more character to the cabin. And then there's lots of nice little touches such as the heritage Aston Martin script that's sewn into the cubby hole in between the seats, or indeed there's the Aston Martin heritage badge stamped into the center console. So all of a sudden we've got a car that's just got that kind of rich character that reflects the original A3 and it just makes it a wonderful cabin to spend time in. So that concludes our small taster of the A3 Vantage. It will be an extremely rare car. We are only making three of these, but hopefully what we've created is something that's got some beautiful bespoke features. It's a car that hopefully will look good in any circumstance and something that will, will just stand out from the crowd with those little tiny touches that we have added.